Previously on Alan Wake. It's not a lake. It's an ocean. After saving my wife from the mysterious dark presence, I found myself trapped in the dark place. Imagination can be the enemy here. A nightmarish world that exists somewhere beyond the shores of our own existence. We're the one making all this happen. Just do what Zane tells you. Follow the signal. Is all this really coming out of my head? The dark place is playing tricks on you. I made my way across its ever-shifting landscape, trying to reach Thomas Zane. You're trapped in your own nightmares. You're still going deeper. It's all in your head. You've been making it up. Really, Wake? Your delusions are out of control. Get out of my head. Seriously, Al? You need to get a grip. You know reality's different here. See what I mean, Al? Al? Ugh. I think I'm stuck on this side. Well, you're gonna have to find your way out of there. I'll wait. Just remember, you're still in the dark place. You know that, right? I don't want to alarm you, pal, but it's sink or swim time. Fine. I could feel the pressure mounting. Barry was right. Time was running out. Everything I saw was a dark, twisted version of reality based on my memories and thoughts. this was from my mind, then I was the one making all this happen. I was literally fighting myself. It was a moment of clarity. Surprise. Let's not say we know. After finishing departure, I felt finished myself. All I had wanted was to save Alice. After that, a part of me had been ready to just give in and die. But I hadn't given up. Thomas Sane had reached me. I had run across a nightmarish landscape following a signal from him. He kept telling me I was sinking, going too deep. I wasn't sure if he meant the dark place or insanity. Perhaps they were one and the same. I mean, that's great, but... You no, know, I never did have a wolf in the last game, or, well, not last game, but any of the episodes. Seems way too easy. Let's see if there's anything else though. The 
tell what that noise. Wait. Oh, that was a thing? Night Springs video game? So that's what the noise was. I was wondering, it sounded like a Xbox like 360 noise or PlayStation. It was actually like, Doo. Hey, nice job, Al! So, you really are nuts, huh? Let's face it, we always knew this was coming. I guess, but I actually feel pretty rational, all things considered. Crazy people don't know they're crazy. That's where they're crazy. Hey, check out the light show behind the lodge. That's Zane's light. Yeah, you're done sinking now. That means he's just about caught up with you. You better go talk to him. Peaceful right now. Let me make sure I'm not missing anything. I missed a lot of clocks in the uh, prior episode. Kind of curious. Was was Night Springs actually a real video game? Lots of fireworks here. Uh, nice. Wake heard the old gods play. Music came out all wrong. You're the track in the horrors! Well, maybe don't play music. Never mind. I'm gonna do it already. Anyway. Oh, sure. hell yeah! Remember this, Al? Get inside now, Al. The big guy busted down the door. Yeah, I know. Thanks for sharing. Just in case I'm an idiot, right? Now let's check up here, though. No. Yeah. And I got some recharges. This is just a memory. 
Even your memories are complicated. Oh, what the hell? Uh, yeah. So, I guess you're gonna need to talk to Zane out there now that he's actually here. I'm just gonna, you know, let you non-imaginary people talk in peace. You're not coming? Nah, that was a crutch, you know. Hey, you're moving up in the world, buddy! You have done well, Alan. Now I can accompany you. You are trapped in your own dream. You must wake yourself up, but first, you have to reach yourself. The cabin? Yes, my cabin. It will not be easy. Your previous work can help you. I still have some pages of your manuscript left. Words like that have power here. made sure of that on our last encounter. You are facing yourself, the parts of your mind that are hard to control. This is not a fight anyone else can win for you. Oof. Okay, that's different. Uh, okay. Oh, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. human anymore after so many years in this place. water would be like hitting concrete. You can't want me dead this the bad. The storm was coming! It would throw him off! Oh, you gotta be kidding me. 
is wild. Things are getting pretty crazy. It's to be expected. You are struggling to reclaim yourself. The landscape reflects that strain, but each step takes you closer. If you persevere, you can attain the lucidity that fends off the darkness. Yeah, okay. Lucid thoughts. Now that I knew what I was facing, the environment became even wilder and stranger. Like it was no longer even bothering to pretend that things were normal. Roll. <clears throat> I'm trying to let us roll. <laughs> okay. Pretty normal to me. Have you seen my imagination?
By the way, I haven't seen any video game things. I haven't heard the noise either. I'm sure we missed one somewhere. Shoddy, fine. What, no fat loot? We. <laughs> Welcome to the hole of light. You see, it's a very holy place. Subconscious Quake was forced to run through a maze, hopelessly sprinting in the wheel, never getting anywhere. His life in miniature. It was useless. Yeah, but I'm not running in a wheel, so piss off. Oh, now what? Literally, when he said running in a wheel, he was said running in a wheel. Jump into the like 
the black boy. You know, the last time we did that, we like really like died. But okay, sure. We. <laughs> your head, Mr. Link. Stop sanity. You're doing well. Keep going. It's hard to make sense of this place. It's a dream. This is a vast place. Home to forces and beings that are completely alien. The Dark Presence. Yes. I don't know what happened to it after your final encounter. Is there any way out of here? Sometimes transmissions can be sent between worlds. You've done this yourself. But to actually leave the Dark Place... I haven't found a way. Stucky's gas station. Not something I particularly wanted to see. But obviously I wasn't the one in the gas station. Another memory made real. Blake would never make it. The insanity he was facing was already a part of it. In him. His own doing. He couldn't possibly win. He didn't even want to. No, I don't want to win. Nice try, though. Are you sure I can't pick that up? Okay, whatever. Door just magically disappears. I'll go. At least the lighthouse was much closer now. I would have to make my way up there somehow. Well, lighthouses have always been beacons. <laughs>
convoy. Get off my lawn, boy. There was no power to the log lift. Dear Alan Wake, may I suggest maybe some jogging or bike riding for your uh, cardio from now on? <laughs> so in the next game you could maybe run, I don't know, there's Alan Wake too, so at this point we know either gets out or he still has to keep dealing with this shit. No video game, I assume? No? Okay.
The part of you that is in control is in the cabin, dreaming and insane. I don't think I like that. You represent the part of Alan Wake that is capable of rational thought and planning, which is why I'm talking to you. If that part can regain control, then you have a chance of making it. But a part of you wants to give in. There's comfort in the oblivion of dreams. You represent the part that isn't ready to quit and die. Wait, are you telling me I'm not real? You're as real as anything else in this place. So there are two of me? Yes. And the one you called Mr. Scratch, he's me as well? No. Zane, are you playing some kind of game with me? I am not the author of your story. How can you say that when you wrote that page about me and the clicker? It wasn't one of my pages. You directed me to it. You had Weaver guard it. Yes, she was needed. And you needed the clicker. But I, I am not. What? I don't understand. Alan, you should keep going. Zane? Zane, come on! Well, that cleared things up. No, no. Right. Skin rug in the middle of the road. All right. How the hell are you doing that? 
It's like learning to control your dreams. There's a connection. You were in my dream. Yes. I taught you. You fixed the foolish mistake I made with Barbara. Technically, the panda is mightier than the sword, but anymore. Pen's very dull, it's run out of ink. <clears throat> Wake ran for the light. It was pointless. He would never reach it. His life would be snuffed out just as easily as the very thing he thought would save him. Yeah, until I reboot it. All I could do was keep going. Since we're being so frank here, Alan, and let me just reiterate how happy I am that you've had this breakthrough, I would like to summarize your condition. By all means. And please, just let me know if you think I'm being unfair. All right. Well, let's start with the obvious. The car crash. Untreated head trauma. All due respect to Doc Nelson, but he's hardly a neurosurgeon. I think that the injury has affected you more than you realize. Yeah, I, I have had bad headaches. 
Then there's your history of substance abuse, which, combined with your chronic insomnia, has resulted in hallucinations and extremely poor impulse control. That's a dangerous combination, one which your wife has unfortunately had to suffer from far more than you. I know. I know she has. I don't think I'm exaggerating when I say that you are existing in a state of all-encompassing denial. Your vivid fantasy casts you as a heroic victim and allows you to skirt responsibility for your own actions. It allows you to solve your imaginary problems and dismiss the things that truly trouble you. In your self-serving delusions, your personal problems are assets that allow you to save Alice, perhaps even the world. Dr. Hartman, I... I think that's spot on. I can't argue with any of that. Well, I'm sure I'm stating the obvious. I don't want to labor the point, but, well, um... No, no. I understand. It's important that I face it. Precisely, Alan. You've put so much effort and imagination into this self-deception, but what good has it really done for you? You refused my offer of help, and here you are. Did being so obdurate really get you to a better place? No. No. And did it really help Alice? Was this really the best thing for your wife? Probably not. Probably not. Oh, I can stop holding the out? F button. You know, I've been talking with her. There's something she wanted you to hear. Oh, hey. That sounds like fun. All I ever wanted was to help you, Alan. I ate all the shit you handed out and tried to understand your pathetic, wealthy white male drama until my life consisted of managing your never-ending crisis. I hate you for your childish temper and the arrogance and self-indulgent pride that undermine all efforts to drag you out of the hole you insisted on digging for yourself. I hate you for leaving me in the dark with that insane monster bitch! All you had to do was act like a loving human being for once in your life and stay with me. If your dramatic exit hadn't been more important than making sure I was all right, she would never have taken me. I don't know where you went, but that's okay. I don't want to know. I don't think I'll ever be all right. The only thing that keeps me from killing myself is the hope that I'll never see you again. Ouch. I... I just can't argue with that. I think I should stay here before I ruin what life she has left. I think this is a breakthrough, Alan. I'm really very proud of you. Yeah, piss off. Piss off both of you. It was nonsense. I knew I had saved her. I'd succeeded in that, and that was all that mattered. What I heard in there wasn't the truth. It was just another toxic mirage. It cut deep, but that made me all the more determined to force myself to snap out of it. I didn't want to be that guy anymore. I had to make myself see the light. Um... Oh, okay. 
Oh, bullshit. <sighs> you know, thanks for putting me back in here with that. Jeez! Gotta be on the plane. Hey boys, how you doing? There's still a little further to go. You must take full control of your own mind. Reject all of the fantasies you have constructed. Yeah, well, I think I can do that. A lot of the stuff I've seen here is personal and ugly as hell. I'll admit it hurts, but it's not fooling me. I know it's fake. Good. You are aware. The part of you bent on self-destruction is not. But you must be careful just because you know the lies for what they are. That doesn't make the danger any less real. I'll make it. I don't have any choice. Here. I cannot come any further, but this will help you on your way. Thanks. I guess. tell you something, Alan. I know how your mind works. You screw up, then you start analyzing it, and before you know it, you start writing all these horror stories in your head. Don't you? Come on, I don't do that. <laughs> yes, you do. I know how it goes. You're a complete failure. I hate you and I'll never forgive you for whatever it was that you did. Am I wrong? Oh, man. See? I know you. But, Alan, it's all in your head. It is. I love you, and I'm not going anywhere. They kept coming! There were too many of them! Hordes and hordes of them! Swarming over the landscape, eager to kill! They were coming for Wake, and this time they would get it with sheer numbers! What did that?
Come on, boys. Good time for that. Better safe than sorry. Ah. My house. I was relieved to have made it here, but I wasn't sure what was going to happen now. Try game. Mm -hmm. 
Zane had left me. I wasn't sure what the Dark Presence had done to him if he couldn't follow, but from now on, I was on my own. Still, he had gotten me this far. I would never have made it by myself. This thing was going to end. It wouldn't be long now. I was surprised by the change of scenery, but not much. I was starting to understand the symbolism, the way the dark place flowed. Wow, it's gorgeous, Alan. It's something, all right. Feeling kind of depressed here. What? So Zane's your new buddy now. I feel abandoned. This is ridiculous. You're not even real. That doesn't mean I don't have any feelings. Thing is, you need to get all rational here. Abandon your fantasies, right? Well, I kinda hate to say this, pal, but I'm one! Fine. You're abandoned. Bye. <laughs> wow. What I'm saying is the only way you're getting in that cabin is through me. It's one of those kill your darlings things. But hell, you're used to that, big shot writer. Am I right? It was in everything. It was even taking a people Wake knew, turning his friends against him. They were all against him. I mean, that's always been the darkness, though. What does it say about you when you're this desperate to keep yourself from getting better? Here we go! I'm earning the 50% commission! It's great that you first make yourself an imaginary hey friend, and then you, you can't even get along with me. that guy! People skills, Al! You're a master! Let's crack that writer's block of yours, Alan! <laughs> You're a father master of crime fiction, an expert of dark alleyways, and a master of substance abuse. That's the best part! Think of this as special treatment! It's great! You're my job! Most of us 
Driving me nuts. to defeat him like four times. Come on now. survive in this place the way he had, and I might not make it back a second time. Leaving this place would be hard. Maybe impossible. It wouldn't take much for my thoughts to stray again. It was too easy to get lost in the dark place. Before, I was ready to curl up and die. Let myself slip away. But here I was. The yet unwritten future waiting to unfold before me. A sequel to Departure. 
My name is Alan Wake, and I'm a writer. Really?